Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuccia here. So you see this reel, and y'all saw that video short. Yeah, the braid is moving on the spool. So you hear that, right? Because I got no drag on it. Now, I've engaged the drag, and it's it's spinning straight on the spool. So. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team What I gotta do is download it To reload it To fix, see what kind of knot he did on there Or how he didn't do it correctly And we're gonna go ahead and get him fixed up but Again, like I said, you know it's important which direction you tie the knot. I don't know what he did or how he did it, so. This fluorocarbon by Cortland is real, real stout line, so it's not going to allow me to tie a simple knot without getting it too crazy tight. I mean, it'll tie a knot, but I don't want it to. I don't need it to be Even in its free spool, that's how tight he's got it. Look, that's how tight it was. But, yeah. You got it on there. Oh no, nope. loose, 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 loose under here. Do this. You all can see what I'm doing. That's real loose, but that may be because it's not tied to the spool. It's not gripping the spool. Going real slow because I don't know what he did. I don't want it to backlash or. What did he do? That looks loose just from looking at it. When he was tied to this hole. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, he definitely needs to watch my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, don't be this guy. <laughs> if, if he's willing to, but I'm not going to throw him under the bus like that. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. I was terrible. <laughs> wow. That, that, yeah. It had me for a second. It really did. Like, I was troubleshooting the reel and. 
you know, he walked away and I kind of, hey, I wonder this. And, yep, sure enough. And I've been telling him for a while to watch my videos, watch my videos. So now you know why. <laughs> See, that would have been one of them Hall of Fame knots. The, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, um, Darwin Award knots. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. But there wasn't one, so I couldn't cut it out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh. It's it fooled me. I had to drag completely locked over and it just would not stop. <clears throat> he goes, he said uh, one of his other ones uh, did that. Hmm. And he was just holding the spool. Yeah. yeah. So again, like I wasn't willing to throw him under the bus and I'm not. So it's okay. And that was hollow core too, wasn't it? Yeah, it is hollow core. Yes. Oh, good lord. That would have been expensive. Oh, man. That would have really hurt his feelings because then he would have blamed it on the, the reel. The yeah, reel couldn't stop it. The reel couldn't stop it. Yeah. Because he didn't, he didn't tie it down. Yeah. <laughs> Give it an anchor. Kind of rolls back to the rods you pick for your reels will either hurt you or help you. Yep. And that's a oh man, I, I got an insane video coming up really? on the slime cat fishing rod, the one that they use the forklift to pick some guy up. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're real popular because of that video. But right. I'm about to. Uh, <clears throat> Did you break one? Oh, I didn't break it, but I'm gonna prove why it's not good for casting. Oh. Especially. If, I mean, you can cast, don't get me wrong. You yeah. can cast with any rod. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for a straight distance and throwing heavy baits like distance, yeah. I wouldn't recommend the, the rod at all. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, I know, like, some rods are very rated for, like, a certain Ooh, amount and look, 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 guys. Look, look, look. Even I went the wrong direction. Look, even if you don't tie the knot the right direction, yeah. it will not lock in. So... <sighs> I figured out that other problem when I tied the right, not the wrong way. Ah, whoops. Oopsie. <laughs> At least it's easy to fix. Yes, yes. At least it's not on a fish. Yeah. Got it looped. I don't know if that makes a difference. 
See that? But watch. Oh yeah, that's locked in. That's locked in. That's what it's supposed to do. So now let's go and get it spooled up. And now at least he'll know his line capacity because they did it by hand. What's up, brother? Uh, loading up, about to go to the house, pick everybody up, and we're going to Causeway to go fishing. Yep, we're rolling. Damn, what'd you do it for? What'd you do? We waited for you out there, I thought you were going to show up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, for real? Did the rod went off? tensioner deal I had there so right. yeah yeah we got 13 total so but hey I'm in the middle of the video let me let me close this out bro all right all right guys so there you go I closed out the MXL and the reason why I was making so much noise is because I was what the hell that was weird I thought it broke through all of these, so I just kept going until I finished it, but I guess it came away and got loose. So, But as you can tell, earlier when he had it, it was way up to here on his line capacity, and since I re spooled it, got it all fixed up. So now he is good to go. Awesome. So now time for me to go fishing. See ya.